343 finally provides an update. It looks like they made some progress on the server issue and the lead dev at 343 says that the matchmaking is pretty sweaty. One of the most prominent pros within the Halo scene, Snakebite goes on the Twitter saying, I'm super excited for Forge, like I actually can't wait for Octagon, CTF warmup, fun mini games, etc. But I beg Halo to do something about the servers before the December holidays when people will be away. Server issues since July with no progress is unacceptable for this game. And I would absolutely agree with this as well because it's been so detrimental to the experience of playing online that it makes me not want to play at all because I know I'm going to get such an inconsistent experience while just playing the game that it doesn't really matter how good the content is, how fantastic Forge is, if the game's not functioning properly, it's not going to be a fun experience. N343 knows about this, saying that the Halo Infinite team is still actively investigating server issues including ping fluctuations and packet loss in multiplayer matches. This is a high priority and we are working with external partners to identify the root cause. Thank you for your patience and stay tuned for updates. Well, well it looks like we have an update. In a reply to Snakebite, community manager Unishike says that, hey PJ, his real name, the investigation is progressing, but totally understand the frustrations about not seeing results in the game yet. We are able to repo it internally and gather data. This is huge right there. Just need to keep digging into that data. Hope to be able to share more when progress is made. So when Uni says repo, he means reproduce the issues. So we are finally starting to see some progress on these server issues with Halo Infinite. Now this could be either be the ping fluctuations, could be the packet loss situation, could be just weird things going on with the game. As pro player Lucid recently pointed out, can anybody please clip the start of this game with the packet loss and constant ping fluctuations for the past like minute or two? Got to reset the servers or some shit. Need to need to get something out. When I say recent, I mean actually that clip was from July and that issue has been persisting ever since. Of course, once we get some concrete information about when these updates are going to be fixing the servers, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. And we recently got some information from Joe Staten saying that the matchmaking is a bit sweaty for Halo Infinite. In the most positive way possible, Joseph Staten says that the Halo Infinite entrenched playlist is sweaty tonight. Great to see everyone finishing the event strong. Winter update drops in one week. Obviously there are multiple factors playing into this. It is the last week of Entrenched. So most people have completed their battle pass when it comes to the Entrenched event. And most of the times when I play that event playlist at Match Against Parties and people really trying to get those challenges completed to unlock everything they can within the game. Of course, Sweaty is all perceptive to the player themselves as in a gold player matching against a diamond player Player, would probably view those as sweaty players. A diamond player playing against high tier onyx players probably view those people as sweaty. A bronze player probably would view a gold player as being a sweaty player, so it's all relative. I think we all can agree that skill based matchmaking is a bit too strict for Halo Infinite. Though, hear me out, guys, I actually do like that skill based matchmaking is in the game. Hold your pitchforks, hear me out here. So, I like the fact that there is a way for players who are brand new to the game or players that might have disabilities or players that are just not as good as players like me who've been playing Halo for 20 plus years, you know, it wouldn't be fair for me to play against them. I would just be stomping on them. But there shouldn't be such strict skill based matchmaking where every game I'm matching into, I'm playing against people who have an Onyx emblem in their name to kind of showcase that they hit Onyx this season. A few play sessions ago, I actually matched against a former pro, Mick when in BTB, like, come on, that's a little tough, man. For me, I've pretty much given up on playing regular 4v4 matchmaking because, when, at least when it comes to social, because it just feels the same kind of thing as actually playing ranked. And why not just play ranked because you're playing with better settings and something's on the line. If I'm playing social, it just feels like I'm just playing the same kind of players, but then with just weaker settings that are just a little bit more randomized. Now the social Slayer play certainly has lightened things up a bit when it comes to playing Halo Infinite, especially in the social side of things, gives me actually something to do. But overall, I think we all can agree that the strict skill-based match mechanism in Halo Infinite is a bit too tight. And we like to see that loosened up a little bit. That one, allow pings being much more prominent, so then people with good connections can actually match against each other, and people can just relax and play social matchmaking like it's actually social. Now, if there are any changes with the winter update, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. 
In talking about the winter update, I found that a lead dev recently said that there's gonna be some controversial changes to the sandbox. If you guys wanna know more about that video, check it out right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.